Alright, let's do this. More Axiom Verge means more Metroid hype. As I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Oh, is that a secret area? I oh, know. Okay, I can't go that way. It's interesting to see how this power up works because I want to learn more. But this game does do a good matchup to Metroid. I'm not saying it, it's uh, on the level as a Metroid game, but I'm saying they've done a great job making it like Metroid and it gives me all the vibes. So, um, absolutely loving it to be honest. Not gonna lie. Alright, now I need to backtrack. Am I going the right way? Let me ch check the trusty map. Um, I'm gonna say yeah. You don't have to fight every single one of them, so just fight the ones you can, and that's about it. Yeah, now we get to hear my favorite little music. Let's go. Okay, that's save room. We don't need to worry about that for now, unless I die. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to go in the save room. I'm going to chance it. Sometimes I've got to take a little risk to make it more exciting. Okay. Come on. Alright, these attacks will be the death of me, honestly. for that. Oh, what if? Yeah, I can go that way now. I just realised. Come on. Power up, activate. Does this damage up? Yeah, that's good. That'll be very handy. Right, we can go. Okay, we can go left. Oh, I like this area. This area looks cool. scared of going this way. Should we just remember this and backtrack a little more? Because I want to see where... Oh no, I can't go that way. Oh no, I didn't mean to go that way. I meant to go this way. Wait. This way. Ta-da! Okay, green door doesn't seem right. like we need the double jump power up so looks like we do have to go that way so let's go get to enjoy this new area these things remind me of the things in Super Metroid that grab you and pull you down I know they're in other Metroid games but I just they remind me more of the Super Metroid ones than any others Okay, can't go that way, so we got to dig through this bit. This is going to be fun. Wow, they blow gas at you. Gas turtle. That's what it seems to be like. How do I be it, though? 
I don't think it has a weakness. We're gonna have to just jump over it unless that gas kills us, then I'm screwed. I think I'll never get bored of phasing through things. I think it's the coolest. But I need to figure out how to get through those bits. That's the that's my first mission. Okay, that gas done too much to me. That gas literally nearly killed me. Okay, I need to jump when the time timing is right. Let's go. I'm scared of those things. They got super gas that can literally kill me. To somehow get past them without getting killed by their gas. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. Death by toxic gas. We thought the the way to kill me would be just to drop a fart on my character. That's actually the worst thing I've experienced now. Death by gas. Oh, I just realised we're gonna have to go all the way because I decided not to take a safety save because uh. I was trying to be cool and be like, I don't need to take risks, but, but now we're all crying inside because obviously uh, I should have taken a risk, but what can, you, what can I say apart from I'm sorry? I believed in myself that we could make it through that area and the gas got caught me off guard. I wonder though, there must be a way to beat those creatures. Wait a minute. I could drill them in the head. I just thought about that. I should attempt to see what my drill can do it against them in the head. Or I might hack them and see what happens if I hack them. See, I've just come up with multiple solutions to help me. And I should have thought of them while I was fighting that. Isn't that the strangest thing though, when you play a video game and uh, you get stuck in a bit and then your brain starts writing the solution straight after you get ruined against like a boss or something. It's so weird. And I never understood why, but it's just, I understand because you're under pressure trying to get through something, you don't actually think about what you can do instead of just trying to get through. So you focus your energy on trying to get through and your brain just like is too focused on that that you forget about the uh, facts of the uh, the fact that you have other items that are usable in this area, which is a common way to die in games. It's because you focus on the uh, you focus on the now rather than what you have kind of thing. I'm not saying it happens all the time, but. Alright, let me try this. I told you it works. Happy days. Way. Are you proud of me that I figured that out? Or, uh, or are you like, why did you not realise that drills could work sooner? I mean, I'm sorry if uh, I didn't live up to the expectations, but at least you can say I'm trying. Now let's see what happens if we hack. Nothing happens. Gonna have to time these jumps. Look at it, it tried to 360 gas scope me. Well, it was more like a 180, but we don't, we don't, we don't be technical around here. We be, we be just trying to get through this part of the game. Since I'm less scared of these, I want to see what's around this bit before I go up any further. Am I the only one who likes the door animations? I think it looks super cool. Let's go. Darn it. Darn it. Why did I walk into the gas multiple times? Oh, that's why I went that way anyway. I just realised I couldn't go up that way. It took me going that way again to realise that. Doesn't this part remind you of Castlevania 2? Simon's Quest. Because it's got that kind of colour theme vibe coming from it. 
I wonder if I'm the only one thinking that. Let me know here what you think. Okay, there's some... There's something coming. It sounds like. I don't like what it is, but I might have to investigate. Because obviously... Oh, we we boulders. Okay, I see, I see this. Whoa, it's like Wheelie from Kirby, except from it. It looks scary, it's scary Wheelie. Wheelie scary. That was a terrible pun, but to make it up to you, I'll end it here with that pun fresh in your mind, so I hope you enjoyed this part, until next time, bye.